you're probably wondering why I'm riding my bike right now. And the reason for that is that I've been a bad, bad man. I've gambled. I've whored. I've skipped training. I've disobeyed my diet. I've been a bad, bad man. And it was recommended to me that I take ayahuasca to get rid of my ego and to find out what kind of man I really am. Am I a man who only cares about himself and the personal accolades that football brings? Or am I a team player? Someone who will get the job done using the great players around him. And while I did learn a lot on my ayahuasca trip, I was also tripping balls and I knew it was time to go home when I started to see some weird shit like that parachute floating. But I must say that this ayahuasca trip came at a perfect time because it was time for the US Open Cup final, the Portland Timbers facing off against Orlando City SC. And to begin this match, I took my ayahuasca trip very, very serious. And you see here me on the ball now. Dribbling through and passing to Moreno. Who passes to Char, who finds Cardo bombing down the right flank. And in the final of the U.S. Open Cup, Cardo has a shot and almost puts it into the net. We are almost off to a thunderous start. And in the 11th minute, Miller passing the ball to Cotto. And Cotto just egging the defender on before he passes to Mora, who passes back to Cotto. And Cotto passes to Moreno, who passes to Aspila, who has a shot, but not successful. And Mora heading the ball to Cotto. Cotto with some dribbling attackers here. Passing the ball to Moreno. Moreno still on the ball. Passing the ball to Cotto. And Cotto cuts in. Cotto has a shot and puts it into the back of the net. And we are off to a thunderous start here in the U.S. Open Cup final. Dennis Cotto putting the Portland Timbers up 1-0 in the 20th minute. And sometimes it just takes a bit of patience. Cotto had no other choice there but to shoot. Believe that. The Portland Timbers up 1-0 in the 20th minute, courtesy of Dennis Cotto. And Felipe passing to Lodero. And Char with a nice block there. And Mora throwing the ball to Cotto. And Cotto, big touch. Cotto still on the ball. Cotto cutting in. Cotto having a shot. But the keeper doing a fantastic job there. Cotto now on the ball. Bombing it down the right flank. Tries to do a scoop turn. Getting stopped by Rafael Santos. And the first half will end 1-0 in favor of the Portland Timbers. Courtesy of Dennis Cotto. And as we begin the second half, we're just looking to continue. The same kind of performance we had in the first half. If we can do that, we will find ourselves champions of the U.S. Open Cup. Williamson. And Williamson on the ball. Cotto on the ball now. I'm just going to cut in past there to Artiega. And Cotto on the ball. Has a shot. And Galiz with another great save. Or another shit shot by me, depending on how you look at it. And Chara passing to Moreno. And Cotto now on the ball. Cutting in, and Cotto getting past another defender, having a shot just wide of the post. Damn it. And Miller passing to Bravo. Bravo on the ball, passing to Miller. Cotto now on the ball, passing to Asprilla. Who passes to Mora? Mora finds Cotto. Cotto on the ball. Cotto has a shot. Galise with another fantastic save. The time to go to the bench. And there's the delivery. And Cotto with a shit cross. Williamson's there to pass to Cotto. And Cotto bombing towards goal. Cotto has a shot. And 
Mora not able to put the rebound away. Ortega passing to Cotto, who cuts in. Cotto, quick shot, puts it into the back of the net. And that is one hell of a shot by Dennis Cotto. His second of the match, 2-0 in the 77th minute. And Orlando City SC needs to find a way back into this match. Otherwise, we will find ourselves champions of the U.S. Open Cup. And what a fantastic goal there. Nothing the keeper can do about that shot. A Messi-esque shot. And we find ourselves up 2-0 in the final of the U.S. Open Cup. And Janssen trying something but not doing shit. Just kidding, he's still on the ball. But Chara intercepting his pass. And Gallese has it now. And Cotto heading the ball to Mora. And Mora settling the ball. Cotto trying to cut through one defender. Cotto still on the ball. Getting past one defender. Cutting back in. Having a shot on his left foot just wide of the post. And Cotto's in disarray. They're in the 81st minute. Up 2-0. Cannot afford a head loss here. Janssen on the ball. Passing to Cartagena. And Miller heading the ball to Cotto. And Cotto getting past one defender. Cotto passing to Mora. And Mora is through on goal. Mora through to goal. And Mora passes to Cotto. And Cotto cuts in with his right foot and has a shot and puts it into the back of the net. Hat trick in the final of the US Open Cup. Like, comment, subscribe, goddammit. Oh my. I'm fired up here because I've just scored a hat trick in the U.S. Open Cup Final. And they better be lining me up for the Ballon d'Or. I'm talking endorsements, money, all kinds of lavish prizes. As I just calm down here from that rush of euphoria. Now, Ojeda on the ball. Cutting in. Passing to Lodero. Who passes to Moriel? Who has a shot? and puts it into the back of the net in the 91st minute. 3-1 and he's celebrating like he just won the World Cup. Well, guess what? You may have gotten your consolation goal, but we're gonna get our hands on the US Open Cup. And I'm the one who scored a hat trick, asshole. And here's Cotto on the ball, trying to make it four, perhaps, with some wonderful skill moves. And Escrilla getting fouled. And that will be that, and we have won the U.S. Open Cup. And look at our fans just going absolutely insane here as we find ourselves victorious here in the U.S. Open Cup. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. We're the winners, they're the losers. I scored a hat trick, they scored one goal. I will go down in the history books. They won't go down in shit. And yes, I know I'm being very arrogant right now. And I may be counting my chickens before they hatch because we still have the rest of the MLS season to look forward to. I'm talking the last game of the season coming up next. And I'm talking the MLS playoffs coming up in the next episode. And our team now just getting ready to lift up the U.S. Open Cup. Chara, the man who announced his retirement earlier this season. Gets to lift some silverware in his last hurrah with the club. And here he is lifting the U.S. Open Cup, which we have just won against Orlando City SC. And look at the euphoria. Look at the happiness spread around our team here. And look at the crowd going absolutely insane. The Portland Timbers back on top. And I'll tell you what, not to sound selfish, not to sound arrogant, but I better get some thank you cards, and I better get a hell of a lot of praise from these Portland fans and this team for my performances here this season. We have done fantastic here in our 3-1 victory over Orlando City SC, and you see the team here lining up for the team photo with the U.S. Open Cup. And look at this. Dennis Cotto getting a hold of his first trophy, a trophy that will be the first of many. And with that, we are the winners of the U.S. Open Cup. The Portland Timbers have won the U.S. Open Cup, but we are not done here. We have our last match of the season against Seattle Sound FC. And although we have just won the U.S. Open Cup, we still have the last game of the league. And after that follows the MLS playoffs. Yes, the MLS playoffs. 
We're at Lumen Field. A tournament that starts after the season. Only the best teams qualify for the MLS playoffs. And since we're in first place of the Western Conference, we have a bye week in the first week of the MLS playoffs. Moreno passing the ball to Miller. Miller passing to Moreno, who passes the ball to Cotto. And Cotto now dribbling through the defense and getting brought down. Not much happening in this first half as Miller just boots it out to Mora, who passes the ball to Cotto. And Cotto running down the flank with Asprilla. And Asprilla passes the ball to Cotto. And that will conclude the first half. Not much of anything happening that half. We go into the second half in a bit of a stalemate here. And here's Cotto passing the ball to Chara, who passes back to Cotto. And Cotto passing to Miller. And Miller passing back to Cotto. Cotto now dribbling through the defense. And Cotto now attempting to cut in but getting stopped. Chance to do damage. And Nuho. Passing to Rui Diaz, who passes back to Nuho, who passes back to Rusnak. And Vargas with a shot. And Cotto now on the ball. And Cotto lets it rip. Just wide of the post. And Rui Diaz threw on goal here, getting stopped by McGraw, who passes the ball to Cotto. And Cotto passes the ball to Bravo. And Bravo passes the back to Cotto. And Cotto now. Bombing through, passing the ball to Moreno. Perhaps a last minute winner here. Cotto on the ball, cuts in with his left, has a shot with his right. And Yaimar there to defend and block the shot. And Moreno, header off of the post. And today is not our day, unfortunately. And Seattle taking their time with the keeper. Moving the ball over to Miller who heads the ball down to Fernandez. And Fernandez with a beautiful pass to Leva, who puts it into the back of the net off the volley. And we have just suffered a loss on the last day of the season, of the regular season, that is. Although it has no effect on our position in the league table or in the MLS playoffs, it does put us in a bad run of form going into the MLS playoffs, which is not good at all because we have a bye week. So it means we have two weeks to ponder on this loss. And that can either do us good psychologically or it can do us bad psychologically. And that will remain to be seen. And I don't even think we have time to mount an attack here. Cotto tries, gets stopped because it is not his day to day. And Fernandez on the ball again. Pass the ball to Rusnak, and they're gonna look to make it two here. And Miller with the last second stop, moving the ball over to Cotto, but this match will end one nil for the Sounders. Danny Leva with the winner at the end of the match. And we conclude our regular season on a loss. Although we just lost, we still remain in first place on 85 points in the MLS Western Conference. And that means we have earned ourselves a bye week in the MLS Cup. And you see here, the MLS Cup is lined up and ready to go. LA Galaxy faces off against St. Louis SC. LAFC faces off against Vancouver Whitecaps. Seattle Sounders face off against Real Salt Lake. Heading over to the Eastern Conference, Orlando City SC with a bye week. Toronto FC faces off against New England Revolution. Lionel Messi and Inter Miami face off against DC United. Atlanta United FC faces off against Charlotte FC. Be sure to tune into the next episode where we will have the MLS playoffs. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Dennis from Clowny Wall Gaming. Thank you so much for watching, and have yourselves a great day.